is up class of 2024. My name's Jack and I'm your ASB president for next year. And I'm just so excited to welcome you all as Cavaliers and part of the Clackamas High School family. Today, I'm gonna to be answering some of the most commonly asked questions from freshmen. And hopefully these will just help you ease into your first year and just have that smooth transition into the high school. On a regular schedule, classes will last about an hour and a half long and passing time is seven minutes long. But even if you aren't lingering, it does take longer to get to the other campus. So don't worry, your teachers can look at your schedule and see if you're coming from the other campus. And if you are, they will give you a couple extra minutes of passing time. Passing time at Clackamas is around seven minutes. However, if you're coming from one campus to the other, your teachers can look at your schedule and they will give you a couple extra minutes. Also, if you're coming from Sabin Shellmark and the bus arrives late, just make sure to tell your teacher and they will not mark you as tardy. The first question I'm gonna be answering is one we get asked all the time and it's what GPA do I need? Really, we don't have one specific answer, but one of the first important things is to make sure you have a high enough GPA to graduate. Really all that means is there's not one number you need, it's just making sure that you pass all of your classes and getting the credits you need to graduate at the end of your senior year. So just make sure that you are passing all of your classes at least and that you're able to get all your credits so you can walk your senior year, that's what we all want. The second thing is if you're planning on going to college, make sure that you're achieving high enough grades to get into that college. And really all that means is just make sure that you understand that even in your freshman year, all of your high school grades really count and colleges will look at them. So make sure that you are really putting in the work and understanding that even as a 15 year old, you know, your grades do count. Okay, the second question we're gonna answer also kind of revolves around your grades, but it also has to do with sports. And it is, what GPA do I need to be able to play sports? And at Clackamas to be able to be deemed eligible to play athletics, you have to be passing all of your classes. So there's not a specific GPA you have to have, but you have to not be failing any of your classes. And this is really important if you're gonna play a sport, especially if you're working really hard, you know, all week and all off season to practice and then you get to that game day and you're not able to play because you're failing one of your classes. So it's really important to make sure you're maintaining that high grades to be able to stay academically eligible to play your sports. Clackamas offers a wide range of sports that you can play throughout the school year. There are three seasons. In our fall season, we have volleyball, soccer, football, cheerleading, and cross country. In the winter season, we have dance, swimming, basketball, and wrestling. In our spring season, we have golf, tennis, baseball, softball, rugby, lacrosse, and track. And year round, we offer an equestrian team and skiing. Hi, incoming freshmen. Um, we are so excited to have you at our school and we hope you have the best year ever. So one of the questions that we're often asked is how different is high school from middle school? And it's a lot different and I think a lot of that is because of the size. So in middle school you have kids from around your area, you know it's a lot smaller, and now you have kids from different middle schools coming and joining at one school. Um, but I hope this is not a cause of stress for you because there are so many people here to help you. You've got upperclassmen, you've got your counselors, your teachers, everybody is here to support you. So if you need help, just ask. So a few ways that high school is different than middle school is there are longer class periods, longer passing time, there are, there are sports, there are a lot of sports at our school, and there's also a lot of clubs, and if you don't find a club that you're interested in, you can always start your own. No matter what, you are definitely going to have more homework in high school than you've had in middle school, but your workload really depends on whether or not you choose to take advanced classes. For example, people in Accelerated English 9 or AP Human Geography are going to have significantly more work than those in base level classes like normal English. But that also does not mean that you cannot handle this work. It might be a little surprising at first, it might be challenging to get used to at first, but you are definitely going to get the hang of it, so don't worry about it. And a way that I think is very effective in staying organized with your assignments and managing your time is to have a planner. Seriously. 
take that planner with you to school every day and write down the assignments that your teachers give you as soon as they give it to the, they give it to you <laughs> and when you get home take a look at that planner kind of organize your evening by looking at the assignments that you need to do and check them off as you go this is really effective for not forgetting anything and it's just really nice to have a vision. So in middle school, they gave you a planner or at least I know Happy Valley Middle School gave me a planner. And I know some teachers um, make you put, write down your assignments in there and they check it off. In high school, I found that using a planner was a really, really helpful way to stay organized and keep up with your assignments, so yeah. a lot more food options available for you in high school. Every day you can choose from assorted pizza, burgers, mozzarella sticks, salads, pasta, and custom sandwiches, and these are here for you every day. You also get sides which include french fries, tater tots, fruit and veggies with drinks as juice and milk. However, there is a special entree every day and this varies. Sometimes it's nachos, tacos, grilled cheese, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, teriyaki, or something else. Um, we also have an a la carte. At the a la carte, you can get popcorn chicken, chips, soda, bottled water, ice cream, and a bunch of other snacks. So for study hall, I found that it was a really important period because I know um, some of you guys are going to play sports next year and usually you will have practice every single day after school and depending on what time, it could be late, it could be right after, but you will not have a lot of time at home to do your school. And so I found that using that study hall period really helped me so that I could just stay on track and also keep up with my sports. There are several people here that can help you choose what you want to do in the future. First, you can go to your assigned guidance counselor. They have tons of information on colleges and they can offer you advice based on what they know about you and what you decide to share with them. You can talk to your teachers since they get to firsthand see your performance in class and see what you're capable of. There are a lot of clubs and classes available here, especially at Sabin's Schellenberg that are targeted towards specific subjects and careers. Additionally, in your junior year, you'll get to take the College and Career Readiness class, which is a class where the teacher assigns you a lot of fun and interactive work that overall just allows you to get to know more about yourself. As for getting college credit in high school, you have the option to take honors and AP classes. Many, but not all of these classes offer dual credit which is where you pay a fee to not only earn high school credit, but also earn some college credit. Um, also in the springtime, you can take AP exams, which if you earn a high enough score, you can earn some college credit. Or lastly, you can be resourceful and find several of the summer programs that colleges offer to high school students. In these summer programs, you will get to take college classes right at the campus and you can earn some college credit. Okay, the third and final question I'm gonna be answering for everyone is what are class sizes like? And to be honest, from my personal experience, I went to Happy Valley Middle School and I don't think there's much of a change. It's pretty much the same as in middle school. Your classes aren't super large, but they're not super small. There's lots of kids in every class and you'll probably have about 30 to 35 students in each class, at least from my experience. So. Really, I don't think there's much of a change and there's not a lot to be stressed out about. I think everyone is gonna have a fantastic first year at Clackamas and we're just so excited to have you guys be a part of the family. Thank you guys.